Shalom. Shalom. What are we doing today? It. All right. Is it easy to get them out, Powie? No. <laughs> here, let me show you where we're pulling these things from. Yes, this. This wilderness here. This is where there used to be electric fencing, electric uh, wire fence on the top and then the panels. But we had a couple of issues, one of them being a property line and the other one being the goats getting loose when they weren't supposed to. So we're just going to move them all down to the lower pen. And it requires a wee bit of manhandling, but luckily we have mans who do it and help. Shalom! I want you to say, what are we doing right now, Brother Trav? What are we doing right now, Brother so We are playing Wagoneer. Yes. Um, or Oregon Trail. Uh, yes. Extend this goat pen. Right. Make it a little bigger. Right. Brought the panels down. From up top, and then just extend it out. Whoa! Thank you for that very dynamic demonstration, brother. All right, time to get to work. Okay, so what we have here is a failure to communicate. Actually, no, that's not right. What we have, a big old bale of hay given to us by a neighbor who upon finding out we had goats wanted to help feed them, which I thought was very kind. And then what you see here, straight ahead, is the Kim's tying up fence panel and the goat enclosure now expanded from last year. And what we did is just drag all the panels out and start attaching them to trees, which makes it way more uh, stable when the goats push against it. They're pushed against a tree and they can't knock it down. And then we have sort of a little divot out to the side there. Pastor and Travis are tying and then here and then around to where the kims are. So this will be the finished goat enclosure bigger and that hay will go up against the fence and they will eat it through the fence. But, whoa! Hey now! Technical difficulty there. Camera person needs to quit drinking on the job. Um, so what happens is you put the hay on the outside of the fence and then the goats can't step on it because they will step on it and they will um, Go to the bathroom on it they don't care they, they eat it but they don't understand so you put it on the outside and they can eat through the fence and it won't make a big mess and if you remember from last year that's kind of what we did uh, we had some stuff on the outside and it's still left here um, it was a pretty bad bale and this was at the bottom and they wouldn't even eat it but this we can now use to insulate around their houses over there can stuff that in and around it and that'll make them better in the cold weather when it comes. I mean it is November and it's 75 today so eventually winter will arrive. Anyway this is what Shofarians were doing on fifth day. Shalom to you all.